Hello, my name is Richard Kent. Uh, today I want to talk about the age of the universe. Now, there's a lot of controversy, even amongst Christians, about the age of the universe. Let's look first at what the evolutionists are teaching the, the whole of the Western world. They say that the age of the universe is 13.82 billion years old. They say that there was a singularity, which is so small you can't see it, but it has infinite mass and a huge, hugely high temperature and exploded, called the Big Bang. And then uh, what happened then was that, uh, this exploded into all the universe that we see. Now, I want to concentrate now on what the New Testament actually says about the age of the universe. And this is not controversial at all. Uh, there's no question whatever about the age of the Earth according to the New Testament. Um, in Luke chapter 3, we're told about the genealogy of Jesus Christ. We're told that there are 77 generations going down from God through Adam, through the patriarchs, down to Jesus Christ. So that's 77 generations, and of course seven is the supernatural number of God. Right, let's, uh, let's just think about those 77 generations. Now, at the moment, uh, a generation is usually, uh, in today's society, around about 30 to 35 years. But of course the patriarchs live much longer, so I've just taken a random figure of 50 years. But to tell you the truth, it doesn't make much difference in the sums, whether you make it 40 years or 120 years. You'll still come to very much the same figure. Let's just say 50 years. Right, 50 times 77 is 3,850. All right? Let's just round it up to 4,000 years. So what have we just learned? That from Adam, the creation of Adam, to the birth of Jesus Christ is 4,000 years, roughly, give or take, 4,000 years. We now live in the year two, AD 2016, the year of our Lord 2016. Let's round it up again, 2,000. 4,000 plus 2,000 makes 6,000. Now, what we have learned is that Adam was created 6,000 years ago. And that's from Luke's genealogy in uh, Luke chapter 3. Now, I want to concentrate on two really important scriptures which Jesus actually said concerning the time of the creation. Jesus said in Mark 10, 6, from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. He also said in Matthew 19, 4, have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female? female. Now that's very clear. Jesus has said in two separate Gospels and two separate statements that Adam and Eve were created at the beginning of the creation. We've already discovered from the genealogy of um, Jesus Christ in Luke and from the time of um, from the time from of God to Adam, sorry, the time from Adam to Jesus Christ is 4,000 years and 2,000 years from Jesus Christ to now. So roughly 6,000 years ago was the creation of Adam, roughly. But Jesus has just said that um, the whole of creation happened at the same time, on two separate occasions. Now we know from uh, Genesis chapter 1 that uh, in fact, the, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, but on day 6 he created Adam. So actually there were six physical 24-hour periods between the creation of the universe and the creation of Adam. Nevertheless, we end up with the fact that according to the New Testament, unless Dr. Luke is a liar, and unless Jesus Christ is a liar, this universe is 6,000 years old. And there really is no other way of interpreting that scripture. The universe is 6,000 years old, and that has huge implications. So thanks for listening, and God bless you. Bye. Thank you.